Sunday. A mother sings in an empty bedroom. In a tiny woodland, there after precious mine, there after. Thereafter, a bone child in a dirty woodland, in nothing more painful than a slave to mine, in nothing more painful than a mother yearning for my. Saturday, protest, boycott, uh, preach. And, uh, I don't have time to practice, but protest, boycott, block on social media. I don't have time to practice that yet. Monday. Assalamu alaikum. Sit ahead. Yeah? Gorma? Wallahi. Oh. Averka? Eteda? Tuesday. I'm going to start writing letters. Dear Trump, I wish you a terrible Wi-Fi signal. Uh, uh, actually, th that could backfire. <laughs> Dear Santa, y you don't know me, um, but my parents say that um, you are other people's alternative truth, and I've been respecting you, but... Uh, um, uh, here's a list of people that should be on your top naughty list this year. Uh, Wednesday. I watch a Somali elder waiting for the bus. She talks on the phone loudly, uses her entire body. Thousand Somali words fall out of her mouth as if to feed the thousands that are starving back home. Thursday. I'm falling inside of an airplane, moving backwards as if to erase me. I conjure my grandmother's memory Hiding under her contino, smelling love, smelling peace. I wake up and I am in a familiar place, a familiar camp. A little girl looks into my eyes and then she points to her mother and her mother's mother, three generations living in my camp. I wake up only to realize that it was a dream, but a reality for a little girl that looks just like me. Big eyes, small hands, capable of making weird plays, but Saturday, it's the protest, think again. The people around me are on their phones, double checking the alternative facts because my English is still limiting, my loyalty is questionable, and I still can't spell the word patriotism. But a broken statue talks to me. 
my dear, my dear daughters and sons, our ancestor have made Gabay and Burambur hidden within the designs of Deal within the knots of Guntino. Gabay and Burambur filled with wisdom just for us to thrive in our world. But we were tested and in the end, we fled only with our most precious. So we brought you into this new world that has built timeless barriers and fortresses to keep you from accessing our ancestors' wisdom. You're made to feel lost and forsaken and dispersed before you can even pronounce your Somali name. You're kept apart and demonized when you come together. My dear daughters and sons, I am sorry. We have failed to show you how precious you are. And you are not lost, but in search of a new connection to our ancestors' wisdom that works for you. And you are not forsaken. For many years ago, I have picked up rocks to chase away the enemy because I knew a precious being like you was coming. So for the nights you are without light, I am here with the Fainus. And for the days you can't find the Somali words to speak your truth, I'm here, still listening, still rooting, just for you because you have always been my precious and you'll be my joy the day you learn to pronounce your Somali name. And you'll be my pride the day you extend a hand to another being that is very different from you. And you'll be my beating heart the day you bring peace in all the places that our ancestors have called home once, my precious, I still hear you, listen for you, and call for you. Love, Hawatak. Waku makla haya, waku shagantona, ikala yo ishe. Thank you.